My fellow Americans, it's time to clean house. Clean out the privileges and perks. Clean out the arrogance and big egos. Clean out the scandals. Trump found guilty on all 34 criminal charges against him. Beware the temptation of pride. I am the chosen one. Don't let anyone tell you that America's best days are behind her. The American dream is dead. There are people who try to will freedom away. They try to legislate it away. I got rid of Roe v. Wade. That's what tyranny is. He says, you're not going to be a dictator, are you? I said, no, 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 other than day one. Regimes planted by bayonets do not take root. Armed aggression must not succeed. If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. What you just seen there was one of the latest videos by the Lincoln Project showing Reagan talking about the greatness of America and not allowing somebody to come in and tell you otherwise, basically. And this is what we have with this MAGA movement. They, it's this doom and gloom. And unfortunately, it has been placed upon the church as well, because I've never seen so many fearful Christians in my life that have taken uh, and subscribed to the spirit of fear. And yesterday we made the video where we were talking about Alan Parr and all of these other Christian YouTubers and things where they give you a reason to stand by the Republican Party. And remember I told you, the Republican Party's no more. And this is just an example of one of many, as we have seen that they're, they're cowards. Uh, Marco Rubio, all of them that claim that they they won't they won't stand up to Trump because they're more worried about their political career than having integrity and some type of morals. And this is what we have right now. So this is why Trump needs to be rejected. He has made a fool out of the church. Church folks are being made a fool out of. And even some of these biggest YouTubers have subscribed to it and are being made fools out of. And unfortunately, they have become created a stumbling block for those that are lost within the world. So we talked about people like Nick Fuentes and Vincent James, and we'll talk more about them in other videos as we go forward, about the white nationalists and the Christian nationalists. And this is why we need to reject Trump, because he is the face of Christianity at the moment. He's the savior and MAGA is the gospel. That's what has happened at this time. And people don't even realize it. Trump is the savior. He, the Jesus Christ has been replaced with Trump as the savior and MAGA and Project 2025 is the gospels. That's what it is right now, unfortunately. We are in a dangerous time. And too many believers, black, white, you name it, don't even realize the danger that we are in. So we talked about why Alan and them that you didn't get the full story on everything on that. I, I don't understand because they seem so intelligent and, 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 and kick out a lot of wisdom at times and things. But they're not looking at the whole picture of the danger that we are in. And we will talk more about more of the danger and things. But so we have that going on, that the Republican Party, as we mentioned, as we could, this is this more of example that is dead and it's gone. And, it's, and, and, and then we have this, where the church is dead, it, it is dying more so. We know that more people have left the church more than ever. And people are turning their back on the Lord more than ever. Because you have people like this, behind pulpits and speaking. For those of you who haven't heard perhaps me tell the story is that in April of 2016, before the presidential election at that time, I was praying. In fact, we were in a prayer group for this ministry, a prayer meeting. And we were praying about the upcoming election and praying for America. An angel of the Lord came and stood beside me. And the angel said, the dogs of hell had been released against the one with the hand of the Lord on him. And at that moment, he superimposed Donald Trump's face 
So I knew that's who he was talking about. And at that particular point, he wasn't even officially the candidate. We're still in the primary season, and there were a number of others that were running for that position along with him. And so I knew it was Donald Trump at that point, the hand of the Lord on him. In Scripture, the term hand of the Lord means two primary things. Number one, when it comes upon the righteous, it is for an anointing of occupancy for whatever that assignment is. Donald Trump, the hand of the Lord. That's why early in 2020, I asked the Lord, is your hand still on Donald Trump for the office? And the Lord said, yes. And it is still there. So I followed up with another question. And I said, does that mean then that it is assured that he is going to win this election? I mean, isn't that what everybody wants to know? Don't you want to know about who's going to win this next one in November? So in a human sense, we want to know those things. And the, this is what the Lord told me. He said, no, it is not assured, but it is a mandate. And I expect the body of Christ to make it happen. We're still making it happen. You hear that? This guy is just one of many of these Trump prophets, Trump people that promotes this stuff. An angel of the Lord came to him and, and, and it's Trump and telling them, you know, they still believe that this man is anointed by God somehow to save America. Once again, he's the savior. They have put all their marbles into this man and they continue to preach this from behind the pulpits. So, so this is where we are. So what needs to happen? Trump needs to be rejected. Him and the MAGA, the, the MAGA movement needs to be rejected. The Republican Party needs to be torn down. Any candidate in any state on the local, national level, wherever needs to be pushed out if they're pushing Trump as their main uh, 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 and any type of MAGA. They need to be pushed out. They need to be brushed aside now. That that This whole movement needs to be laid to rest so that the Republican Party can rebuild. Because if not, it's going to be a generation or two before it ever recover, if it ever does. And the same needs to happen for within the church. Because if you have people, what's going on with the movement within the church like this. President Trump will have a miracle second term. He is the one that God's going to put his hands on. God says, I'm going to flip this thing. And we haven't seen anything yet, but it's coming. We're not crazy. They're crazy. And justice will be served, says your God. This is far from being over. And nothing will stop me from my plan at putting my son, Donald Trump, back in that White House. All of this is culminating in Donald Trump getting his second term of presence. It has to. I hear the sound of victory. I hear the sound of victory. Make America great again. That's what the Bible says. That is spiritual warfare. We'll take it by force. This is war! Let me tell you something. You ain't seen the insurrection yet. And as you see, the MAGA church is what it has become. It's about power, greed, and everything else. This, the church needs to be torn down from within and built back up to where the focus is back on Jesus Christ. So that means any pastors, throughout the nation needs to be removed if they refuse to repent on speaking politics and promoting Trump in the pulpit. They need to be removed. Any church that is doing this as part of MAGA's type stuff, needs to, it needs to, they need to be removed. 
any Sunday school teacher, any of them, if they don't repent and they're out there openly promoting this when they're there in congregations and whether whatever needs to be torn down and needs to be removed and things. So that's the, and we need to get the focus back. We pray that any of these, and another thing that will happen, because if that happens, if these pastors and these leaders in the main front, Robert Jeffers and all of these Franklin Graham's, if they don't repent and all that, we need them out of the way. We need them out of the way. They need to repent. They need to sit down. We need new faces, new generations of people that stand on the word of God, stand on the gospel, keep the focus on the gospel. That's what we need. We need a new generation of people in the, in the pulpits that's going to stand for the truth. It's what we need in this day and hour more than ever. So anybody within this society, throughout the world, whatever's going that is behind any type of extremist, fascist type ideas need to be pushed aside. People need, if, they, if you got a board, a, a board, they need to be voted out. You guys need to come together, get some guts and stand up to these false pastors from behind the pulpit. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these guys are riding solo. A lot of them. They have no accountability, just like the, a lot of these YouTube preachers and teachers. They have no accountability. So they can come on here and tell you about silly dreams and visions and all of this junk that they've made up and, and, and have no accountability. But one thing that can happen, one thing that can happen, the American people and evangelicals and Christians and most of all can take this mega movement and put it to rest for the most part. Well, we know it is be difficult, but we can take the head off the snake. We can vote this man down to where we know that he's voted out this time, voted down and cat his and has no chance to uh, brace the White House ever again. He ain't running no more because he's already too old right now. So that'll be it. And then we can hopefully get back to both parties, going back to some type of normalcy, get back to churches, restoring to some type of normalcy where the doors will be open for people to come in and be able to hear a word from the Lord and not have to hear about a word from Donald Trump or some silly vision that they claim they had that relates to Donald Trump or something about the Constitution. It's God, Abram, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob became Israel, Jesus, and George. <laughs> this nation, particularly to Christian people, should be completely, totally based on what George Washington said to Jesus. And things like that. That's the only way it's going to happen. And then ultimately, a lot of these YouTube channels and places that are preaching and promoting this and has made a living off of lying in the Lord and using Donald Trump in the process, may, it, may they fizzle out because that's one way to get this thing started. So it's up to us. Thus, us that stand for the truth, that want to continue to stand on the word of God, continue to be a light out there to those that are lost, because there's a lot of people, unfortunately, millions, that are highly deceived spiritually. If you think that Donald Trump is the savior of, a, of this nation in the world, you are severely spiritually lost if you believe that. And we know that we're going to continue to push forward. We're going to continue to talk about issues the church run away from. Take the devil head on. A punch of right in between the chops. Evangelism for God's your channel. My name is Maurice Braxton. So we'll continue mar marching forward with these videos because a lot of people are in serious spiritual danger. That's the biggest problem there. A lot of people, when you see some, hear some of these people, see how they react their comments and the things they're saying and believing and the money they're spending with these types of people and going along with this subscribing to the nonsense is scary. Maybe we continue to pray that they be delivered before they're destroyed. Take care, my friends. God bless.